Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor. Hey, we're down here in the 22 foot uh, Kodiak 26 footer. We got three wipers. Boom, they put a nice covers over those two, over the motors. Your switches are right here. Okay, then you got your Garmin uh, 215 AIS. You can also, that should give you identification on top of this. We're gonna check that out. It is reading it, so it is hooked up to NEMA 2000. We got two uh, wireless remotes. He's gonna run his kicker motor back there off of this display right here, which is gonna be independent of the other autopilot that does your 200s back there. Okay, there's no heater in here. To the, for the faucet here, I'll turn this on, but to get the pump, you gotta open this door and you gotta hit the fresh water. Now listen, there you go, right there. So this is your breaker panel. This is to pump your toilet out. You hold that, that's the macerator. You gotta turn these valves back here. But here's the panel. I think he was asking for this. Your wipers, trim tabs, so on's gotta be on. You, if you're not using the sink, just turn that off. That's for your wipers, stereo. So all these got it flipped. So we can do it right now. I'm gonna just flip them all on just to show you everything. Door goes here, carbon monoxide sensor storage lights you got locks on these lights nice carpet nice nice job seasport does a good job there and then all these right here is your other bus panel they put in radar fish finder vhf and this one here it says radio so all those you have to turn on for your radio vhf 215 this is a new style this is kind of cool i can set this up pretty nice you got speakers, storage up underneath here, shore power here. I couldn't see the shore power cord, so it does have battery chargers and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know if that was an option. Nice captain seat, storage up underneath here. And then this is kind of cool, actually. That was kind of smart on his point. Here's the lights. USB ports lit up, you know they're working. 12 volt power point, I checked out with my checker, trim tabs work. Now this gauge, here's something new I haven't seen, it's kind of nice actually, but I can control the autopilot just from this and from here. So I can set it up on the screen too. So you got three ways, but maybe you want to see your gauges and your media control on here and I'll show you that. You got your fusion radio, uh, DEC, you got your uh, troll and your uh, cruise control right here and I'll show you that you got neutral hold you got trim assist now I'm gonna have to see if that goes on that gauge I don't know until these mo we fire these motors up you can uh, just turn the key and just start it boom and I'll show you this one we're out here our start one motor individually you can run single lever by pushing this one uh, if I hurt, hit this one here and hit this one boom I can just run one lever but these have got to be in neutral. See, that's forward. And on that gauge, it's going to tell you what gear you're in. But I'll show you that. These got to be in neutral. If one's ahead and you go back, uh, you try to start it, it ain't going to start. So it's got to be. And these are touchy. You got to be very careful. Like when you're in forward and you bring it back to neutral, you got to remember where you're at. Because if you just all of a sudden go one more click, you're in the reverse. So you could be doing 3,000 RPM. And whoop, shit, bam. You know, it'll be okay there for a while you don't have to worry about it uh but i mean you don't want to continue you could rip the dog ears out now you can go up the carpet now when you pull this carpet up there's a little inspection cap right here you do that there's a seacock valve down to the right and what that does is gives you water to the toilet i got it on right now your holding tank for your fresh water is underneath here but you can get to it through that you take that plate off and there's that door i was talking about you can take that out and get to your tanks and then your holding tank for your toilets back there always make sure your refrigerator's off when you're not hooked up to shore power or you turn your motors off uh, you want to make sure you can leave that on but don't leave it on for like a day or two days at a time with uh, just on your batteries uh, because this will take the juice so if you're plugged in shore power not an issue if motor's running, not an issue. But if you don't have the motors running and you don't have short power, I remember to turn that off. This turns into a bed. 
got a VHF remote there. There's your toilet. And right over here, if you want to direct over. Right now, if I turn that valve the other way, that would, when it pumps out, when you hit this macerator, you'd go like this, and then you'd go direct over, like this. And now it would pump it direct over. And then you shut that valve, and you shut that valve. So, other than that, the way it's going right now, this thing's gonna go right into your holding tank. And then if you go here, you pump, pump, and it pumps out the water in. That, the other way like this, you pump, pump, and it goes into the toilet. You got windows here, you got some uh, sliders. Big window here, at least you can see out. And we got to calibrate one Sirius, one's a regular GX25. It's got the Phantom dual band radar. And then here's your controls here for your uh, courtesy lights. Right here. Deck light, that has an, the deck light is for that up there. Wash down pump, that's inside there, which I'll show you. Fish box, fish box. Uh huh, batteries second, too. And batteries too. That's the secondary remote. I'm gonna try to hook that up so we only need one because this is independent. This does the kicker right here, DC controls here. So like I said before, now if I brought these back and I thought that was in neutral, I went up there, turned on the key, I'd hit station, this thing would blink, right? So I'd have to go up and maybe make sure that was in neutral, neutral or one with the head, you have to bring it back. Then you hit station. And I'll show you this when I'm out here, that trims, when the key's on, that will trim the port motor. That'll do the starboard. If you had to try, it would do this, this does all. And again, there's some neat features on that I can show you. That's your fish box. There's your kicker motor. He's got a tie bar accessory. So when he, say he just wants to manually steer without autopilot or uh, in other ways, if he's got that thing hooked up, you know, there's a thought. Because if he has that tie bar hooked up, this autopilot shut off, he could have autopilot for his kicker on his main display up there. So if he just wants to run autopilot by itself on just the kicker, not turn those motors, then he can use that one. So he got damn near everything he needed to do. And then he could shut it off. He could steer the motors with a tie bar with no autopilot. Uh, pretty smart. That'll do her. Anyway, you turn that switch up there, up there, then you turn this, and then you can see water comes out. That way, if you don't want this, you unscrew it and just let water come in here and there's a plug. And then under here, they do everything pretty smart. They put your uh, starting batteries, house batteries in a box. There's your autopilot pump right there. Uh, there's your, uh, for your wash down, there's um, your pickup pump for your Seacock valve. I go to Yamaha, the big ones, 10, I think they call them. It's got a 180 gallon tank. We're gonna put about 70 gallons in. And then this is another smart thing they did. They put the switches up top here. We got them all, the yellow is parallel with a switch in case you need an extra jump to out of all batteries. You can turn on that. If they go dead, you can at least get a motor started, which then will start another one. They do have the uh, ACRs. There's your other reset, relays, and then your uh, pump is back there for your wash down. Speakers, shore power. This is for water, for fresh water. This here is for wastewater. Remember inside there, that switch. You switch it and you can pump out direct. You've got a step going up. Very nice, very nice. Lots of room back here. Like I say, rear deck steering. And then you got your controls for your kicker right here. And we'll jump out here. Oh. And I'd get a, la a ladder, a slide up ladder that goes up in there here where you can pop it out. Trim tabs, got good reverse chimes, zincs, self bailing deck, nice deep sides, inline 200s. Uh, the RPMs kick in about 
uh, I'd say 2200 your horsepower does most are 3844 uh, so these got the that range of quarter half three quarters full they'll just take off and these are fit 14 by 15 15 diameter or 15 pitch 14 diameter I believe yeah and they're stainless right hand left hand stainless prop shaft drive shaft two coats of primer two coats of clear zinc's internal zinc's uh down below got zinc's underneath the motor you got a t99 same thing with the paint same thing stainless prop shaft drive shaft 11 by 7 there's your reactor 40 there's your trim tab you got your drain plug there plus up underneath there but that one up underneath there i'd probably put a like a regular brass one inch plug in up there uh, stainless the only reason with that is if something catches that it could rip that out but if it did whoopee it's just going to this little back pod anyway it ain't going to go in your boat and this isn't the trailer that's going with it and these are all drain pump outs vent drains sliding windows garmin phantom so we're ready to roll Boat Doctor out.